Hi everyone, Vampers Kiss here. I'm about to go out and do the chickens. There's our baby. That's Docky. Isn't he cute? This is Roosty, our rooster. Of course, he's only one of like lots of roosters. We've got a lot. Anyway, here's all our guineas. We have a lot of birds. Lots and lots and lots. We don't really do much with them other than just look at them. And there's a whole bunch of ducks and chickens in there. We don't see um, Chuck. We have one called Chuck that we think's half duck and half uh, chicken, so we can name him Chuck. Jamie's seen him, I guess it was yesterday, but I haven't seen him for a few days, so I'm not sure where he is. But actually, it's out of him, it's a her. Because, uh, <clears throat> she has laid eggs. Anyway, these guys, we have to feed them every morning. It's such a thrill. This is what they eat. Well, actually, don't be so rude. This is a scratch on the top, but usually it's mixed with um, crumble. Oh, I missed the bowl. My bad. <laughs> and these guys, I'm just such a nice person. I just take it kind of stick it right in there. <laughs> Because I hate to open that door because they just like go crazy in there when I do. And then these guys get their scoop. We don't feed them a lot because we free range too once the gates are open. And um, we want to encourage them to go out there and, and get the weeds. There's one of our rabbits. Rabbits like the chicken feed too, although they do have their own feed. They, uh, we come over and scrounge off of the uh, chickens. Everybody's molting. I don't know why they're molting. Well, I don't know if they're molting so much as the roosters have just been at the hens and so they look like they're molting. But we definitely don't have mites, but some people might say, oh my God, those chickens have mites. Well, they don't have mites. It's because we just have really ruthless birds here. And poor things, they go almost butt bald all summer long. And then they start to get their feathers back uh, just before winter comes in. And they look all pretty during the winter and then they look like this again in the summertime. So it's probably a combination of molting and, you know, spring is in the air so everybody wants to, you know, have sex, I guess. I don't know what else to say. What, what do chickens, what do chickens call that? Procreating? Who knows? But here's a whole bunch of roosters right here. We've got more roosters than we do hens. That's part of the reason why our hens look the way they do. It's not from a lack of trying. We try to, you know, breed more hens, but, you know, it's just the luck of the draw. Here's uh, our friend Moose. Yeah, that's Moosey. He's a good boy. He's so smart. He poops all in the same spot. Isn't he great? He's uh, he's one in a million, that dog. And then here's where our geese and stuff are. They're all over here on this one. Moose doesn't need food. He's got food. Our geese had, ha had hatched out a baby goose. And the baby goose made it for about a week. And then, I don't know, somebody stepped on it and crushed it or something, I don't know. We're not really set up here for, uh, that would be nice. We're not really set up here for, uh, oh, God, you know, brooding birds. So, there's another rabbit over there. You can see it. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow, that rabbit moved so fast. And look at, no, that, that wasn't a rabbit, that was a chicken. I'm looking in the lens, I can't tell what's going on. There's a rabbit there, though. I might even the one that followed me from the other place. Oh, look it. And here's some of our little baby chicks. We did have one chicken. Well, actually, I think she's right here. Uh, that hatched out some little baby chicks. This would be like a first for us. We've never had a chicken actually hatch out chickens. And there's all her little babies. I guess we're going to throw down some food so they get, some, they get to eat. Because otherwise... 
the big rear ends around here won't let them eat. There's still one over here around the corner. You leave him alone. It's a dog eat dog world. You think you think that uh, kids on a playground are mean? <laughs> Come and watch how roosters and chickens and and all of them treat each other. Oh man, they make kids look like uh, saints. I don't know how else to say it. Anyway, so this is pretty much our mess. We're not as clean as we should be, and we don't do things like we should. We just kind of freelance and live life. But aren't they beautiful? I love those geese. We hatched out, uh, well, you can come here, I'll take you over there before I turn off the camera. I hatched out 12, but unfortunately some of them died. But here's, here's four of them. Those are, uh, they're only a couple months old, but look how big they are. Those would be four males. Well, I'm pretty sure that's at least three males and one female. There's some smaller ones. On. I hope they're still okay. I don't see them, though. That kind of worries me that something might have happened. Let me look in here. Let's see if I see them. But we had them in the house, but oh, here they are. There's... That those are two females and possibly have another little male there. There's still one missing though. We have seven. Let's see if we can find the seventh one. So there's three. See, they're just starting to get their feathers. There's one, one, two. No, they're all there. Yeah, they're all there. So there's definitely three females there, the three littler ones, and three big males. And then that medium one, he's kind of iffy. I don't know if he's a female or a male. But uh, these are uh, these are some chickens. There you go. You see, that's what they do all day, and that's why they have no hair. Oh, no hair feathers. <laughs> oh, crud. That came out. Uh, always something to fix. And here's one. She's in here. I don't know why she has no feathers, but she's in here brooding. Who knows if she'll hatch something. She's one of my silver gray dorkings. I only have like one female silver gray dorking. Let's hope that she's setting on some of her actual own eggs. Because I have a male silver gray dorking. One. He, I think he actually was... That's him right there. That's the silver gray dorking. Isn't he beautiful? He's one of the, he's one of the most beautiful birds we have. Anyway, um, I got them because originally when we started this whole thing, we were going to, you know, kill the birds you know, to eat or slaughter, whatever the word is, dispatch, I don't know. Anyway, um, and then it ended up that nobody wanted to do the, do, do the deed with me, so we, not we, me, decided to find them. Then we'll just feed them until they die and they keep multiplying. <laughs> so, Okay, well, this is Damper's Kiss. I hope you enjoyed this um, little tour. Oh, there's there's some more rabbits. There's a rabbit. Oh, I don't know if you can see it before the rabbit turned around, but it has one white, completely white leg. There's two black bunnies. Oh my God, look at all those eggs right there. Those are, ge those are goose eggs. See? Okay, now that goose that was sitting on those eggs, she's done because she's pushed those out of the building. So she, she's smart enough to realize there's nothing in those eggs. She's been sitting on them probably six weeks. And they should have hatched like at least two weeks ago. But that's what they do. When the eggs are no good, they'll just push them on out of the nest. And you know they're done. So I've got to go over there and pick those eggs up. So, anyway, this is Vampir's Kiss. Talk to y'all later. Oh, there's Mabel. See, they pick on Mabel. Poor Mabel. She never has any feathers in the winter, summertime. She's uh, she's our one and only turkey, and you should have seen her during the winter. God, she was beautiful. She had the most 
no beautiful. But oh, there she is. Hi, babes. You finally seen I was standing here. Come here, Mabel. Oh, she my baby. She my baby girl. I love her. Yeah, she's a good girl. Okay, so we'll talk to you later, y'all.